Hello everyone and welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today we're doing an unboxing of the Asus Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi Micro ATX board. We're going to be opening up this bad boy, see what you get inside. We're also going to be installing it into a system to see what it looks like when it's fitted into a Micro ATX uh, Corsair 280X case that we've got here. All right, so this is the front of the box here, what you'd expect to see if you are picking up inside a shop. You've got a nice sticker over here, which tells you that it is capable with the AMD 5000 X series uh, mother, uh, CPU, so you get all that with you as well. Um, obviously, the B550M Plus Wi-Fi Tough Gaming is, is pretty much at the top end of the Micro ATX offering from Asus on the Ryzen platform, um, uh, before you get to X570 anyway. And then on the back here, you can see the kind of features that I, it kind of explains, you know, what the Tough Gaming is all about, you know, um, what, what's, what's good about it. Which generally, the Tough Gaming stuff has got better capacitors and all that kind of stuff than the, uh, the cheaper uh, range, like the, uh, you know, the Strix and all that kind of stuff. So let's just open up this thing and see what we get inside. So first thing you have when you open it up, we've got the uh, little Wi-Fi adapter here. So I'll just put that to the side here so we can have a look at that later. And we'll open up the front here. Um, you can see we just get greeted with the motherboard in its anti-static bag as well. So I'll just put that to the side. And then when you lift out the cage here, inside you've got all the accessory bundle there. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got the black IO shield, the matte black IO shield, which is always nice to see. We've got the SATA cables as well. Um, we've got the CD uh, with the, all the drivers and utilities on it. But of course, you should always download the latest drivers from the Asus's website. Uh, we've got a quick start map guide uh, there. On uh, We've got a user guide with all the kind of features, tells you which slot you should be putting your RAM into and all that kind of jazz. We've got your screw bundle. Um, so of course, remember not to lose these because you've got M.2 screws in here, which um, you know uh, they're they're a bit different from all the rest of the screws that you tend to get inside. You know when you're working on a PC and they're a bit tiny, so you don't want to lose them. You've got the motherboard layout cheat sheet there. Um, you've got a specification cheat sheet for your AMD processor in case you need a BIOS update, anything like that. We've got that certificate of reliability here. Um, which obviously that's the whole point of the Tough Gaming series. Um, it's designed for hardware and use, you know, 24 seven gaming or whatever you want to do. Um, and then you've got a nice sticker sheet here. Uh, so of course, if got, you can see everything right now on the uh, B-roll of all the accessories laid out there. So uh, let's have a closer look at the uh, Wi-Fi adapter here first. So as we open it up here, you get a nice little uh, dock there, which you kind of put the, uh, uh, the wires through so you've got to get these um, cables here you thread them through the dock I think is that how you do it or you do have to push that out yep so you just push the uh, wires through there at the bottom of the dock um, and you just kind of it's a bit fiddly um, if it's not unraveled there you go and then you got to uh, just kind of insert it in the actual thing which way does it go? There we go. So yeah, so you insert it like that and then you have the actual Wi-Fi card itself with his little stand and you can kind of thread this around the back of it to keep it in place, you know. Um, you don't have to use the dock, you could kind of just have it like hanging out, but it's handy to have and then it'll stand, you know, up by itself like that. I've not got the actual wiring properly, but yeah, you get the idea, you know, it'll stand like that and then you can use it you know, for your Wi-Fi. It's quite nice that they give you a big antenna because sometimes when you get Wi-Fi included on the motherboard, it might give you a really rubbish antenna, then it's pretty much useless anyway, and you'll be buying your own. So look at the board here. So it comes in an anti-static bag. Um, the anti-static bag uh, doesn't have a sticker on it to keep it sealed. So uh, that doesn't mean that you might have got a second hand one. It's just sometimes manufacturers don't put a sticker on an anti-static bag, so something to bear in mind. Um, let's have a look here when we open it up. So this is a nice uh, nice looking board, Micro ATX like I said, so it's quite small. Um, on the back of it here, you haven't got any uh, reinforced PCB, um, but you don't really need it on a size this, this uh, on a board this size anyway. Um, so that's, uh, that's there anyway. At the top here, we've got an eight uh, pin uh, CPU power there. 
um, that you can plug in. Um, so it's not a 4-pin one, so bear in mind. So you've got uh, two PCIe 4.0s lanes there, one over the top one. The main one is a reinforced one as well, which is always good to see, because these days, you know, they, 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 can, they can weigh like three kilos, these graphics cards, and they're all triple slot. And if you don't have a USB, if you don't have a reinforced PCIe 4.0, they tend to sag. So it's good to see that comes with it. Um, you've got an M.2 slot right above it there as well for your SSD. You've also got another one underneath this passive uh, heat shield cooler as well. Um, so, you know, you can have two in there, which is good to see as well. Um, and you've got the uh, PCIe 1X uh, Express slot there as well. So, um, obviously, it's good to see that we've got Wi-Fi on board because if we didn't, we might end up using one of these slots, but we don't have to because it's on board. And then you've got the uh, Tough Gaming sound card right down there. So that's pretty cool. It's one of the better sound cards that you get stuck with the motherboard. Obviously, uh, this is one of the tough gaming micro HX B550M, and it's one of their most high end uh, boards that they do in the micro HX range for uh, Asus, do anyway, for this uh, particular platform. So, um, you know, that's why you're going to expect, you know, quite the, all, all the bells and whistles and all that kind of stuff. Um, we've got your RAM slot over there, you know, uh, as standard. We've got four slots of RAM, we've got four SATA connections there. Um, and on the uh, rear IRL, let's have a look what we got here. We've got two USB 2.0, we've got the PS2 slot as well, uh, port. So that's uh, funky that it's still kicking that old school connection. We've got the four USB 3.0 ports, we've got a clear CMOS button, um, we've got two. Uh, that's the Wi-Fi aerial connection there. Got the HDMI and display port uh, connections there as well, if you're not running a graphics card, but nine times out of ten you probably will be with this bad boy. Um, we've got a USB Type-C connection, uh, another USB, um, looks like a supercharged one, uh, Ethernet, and then we've got obviously your sound card connection with your optical and all your jacks and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, quite a nice looking board, quite sleek. It's not a matte black PCB, it's a glossy black, but you know, still looks good. Um, in terms of fan connections, we've got your CPU fan and your CPU fan optional to uh, the fan headers up there. Uh, what else have we got? One at the bottom right here, so that's uh, three. Um, have we got any more? Um, doesn't look like it. Uh, there's normally one on the board. Yeah, so we've got four. So you've got four fan headers all together on this little board here, but generally I tend to use like fan splitters anyway, because uh, it's just easier to route cables. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is fitting this thing into a system which I'm building for my friend. It's the Corsair 280X uh, build. So uh, yeah, the next time you see it, it will be in that bad boy. So here we have the uh, B550M motherboard inside a Corsair 280X Micro ATX uh, Crystal Series case. Um, it's actually a really nice case, really easy to build in. And the uh, you can see for the aesthetic here, we've gone for like a black on white. LED theme, there's no RGB going on here except for the Aorus RTX 3060 Ti graphics card that we've got in here, but obviously you can change that to white if you wanted to. Uh, the motherboard was really easy to build with, um, it fitted in the case very nicely. As you can see the matte black aesthetic of the board um, goes well, um, and the gloss and finish of the PCB doesn't look too bad with all the lights shining on it, it does not really much reflect it in this case in particular. Um, Lots of room around the um, uh, CPU block uh, for the AMD Ryzen cooler that we've got here. So really easy to route cables and all that kind of jazz. But yeah, it worked really well. The BIOS was really easy to configure as well as Asus ones are. Um, and it looks really great, I think, with the uh, white highlights on the LED uh, on the uh, top right there. So hope you all like this um, quick unboxing and review of the uh, B550M motherboard. Don't forget to hit me subscribe and like if you like this video and hit the notification icon for any future videos and catch you next time.